Alright, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Dross here with another episode on our Orange Islands Let's Play. And I believe this is episode 14, guys. And if you guys didn't check out the last one, uh, make sure to go check it out. We ended up coming over here to this museum and we ended up giving them our fossils. So, yeah, it was pretty fun, guys. We ended up coming to this island, which, to be honest, I completely forgot which one it was. Um, but yeah, guys, so I guess we could continue now to the rest of the... Uh, game and I think I already battled these guys it's actually been a few days since I last uh, Played guys. It's been like a week. So, um, you know, I'm starting fresh a little bit and I just wanted to apologize If you guys are able to hear my AC guys, it's just it's really hot right now And I really can't play without having it on so I apologize if it's like too much for you guys um, so yeah, so other than that, uh, yeah, let's actually uh, have fun guys and actually I want to kind of press this just to see if there's gonna be anything um, But before we actually head out, I wanted to Add some moves to some of our Pokemon since we did end up uh, putting our Lapras in the computer um, we need to teach one of our Pokemon Surf, so um, the only one that's able to learn is actually War Turtle, which to be honest, I don't really mind. Uh, so now let's see which one we could forget. Um, and obviously, I think I'm gonna go with Tackle Guys just because it's not a uh, it's like a good move, you know what I mean? It's not a solid move, so we could actually go ahead and change that. Bam! We learn sir. So since we're already here might as well make our Pokemon a little bit stronger, right? So an attack that is executed last the user uh, flinches if it hits beforehand So the bad part about that that yeah most for the most part a lot of Pokemon are gonna attack you They're not gonna use anything else. So that's like a I don't know I would say probably like a quarter of a chance for actually hitting um, so I don't think it's really worth it that much, but we do have ice beam guys um, oh, look at this. And Milkshake is actually able to learn it. So that could actually be a good move against Grass-type Pokemon since we're super effective against them. So actually, we could use that in our favor. So let's actually get rid of Tail Whip. There we go. So overall, guys, we're going to make it work, right? And then hopefully we get to a city where we're able to buy uh, some more TMs. Um, usually you're able to do that. Oh, Thunderbolt as well. Um, so Pikachu already knows it. So another one that can learn it is actually a uh, milkshake, guys. But the thing is, is there, yeah, let's go for it. Because, I mean, we could always um, use them, especially here in this island or this this game. Since there's so much water, we're going to come across a lot of, um, what, what do you call water type Pokemon. So that's actually going to come handy to level him up. Although he doesn't have a good... Um, what would you say a special attack? He's mostly a physical attacker. So I don't know how good that's actually gonna work But I mean it's better than nothing right than what it was before so uh, Teach which Pokemon so to be honest guys. I forgot one more word. brick break. All right, so um, I Don't know who would be better for so brick break is a fighting type move which would be super effective against Dragon types, right? As well as I don't know, guys. What about Charizard? Does Charizard know any? Let's just check his moves out. Uh, he knows Scratch, Sesamic Toss. He already knows Sesamic Toss, so I think we're gonna skip um, Brick Break on Charizard. And our other option is these two. So let's actually go with War Turtle, guys, since I think it'd come in handy, right? Or maybe Pikachu. Let's actually go with Pikachu, guys. Because he doesn't... Yes. Um, so Pikachu obviously has a hard time fighting. No, it, yes, I do want to give up on it. Um, it has a hard time fighting rock types. So that's actually going to be a good move since um, rock types are super effective against fighting moves. So there we go, guys. So... Um, I think Thunder Wave since I think we we do have static body or something like that where look how cute he is <laughs> Oh, man, he's hella cute There we go. So that way he has a chance fighting chance against rock types And then we also got rock tomb, which I don't really really like to be honest um, So I think that's it for now. So yeah, we need to figure out where we could actually buy some moves um, and since we did show 
or teach more like it our milkshake thunderbolt let's actually give it a go against this trainer right here do you think you can be my team of six oh he has six pokemon too so maybe they're not going to be that strong since he does have so many he's probably going to have a bunch of magic carbs yep what i call it guys i called it so i don't think they're going to do much damage i know they can learn hydro pump as well but i don't know if that's going to be enough especially if they're using starting off with splash so let's just see how much damage he does, although I know he's a physical attacker, not much of a... Yeah, but the thing is that Magikarp's really weak as well. His defense is not that great special defense, that is. Um, so, yeah, so I think that's going to be a good a good move on us and on giving him Thunderball. And I know he was able to use it. I think he's also able to use Surf, or if it's not him, it's actually going to be right on. Because I know he knows Surf, he knows like a bunch of moves, that's, that's a really cool thing about him. But the thing is, he's more of a physical attacker, which is what well, kind of sucks. Uh, so, I mean, it is what it is, especially here, we could actually level him up a little bit more. Just help him up, get up there, because it's really hard, guys. There's too many water types. Oh, and we need to go get that, that, um, the star you as well. I wonder if we should do that this episode, you guys. Should I go get him, guys? Because, I mean, we could also get a horse and get a Seedra. But I wanted a Starmie. I said at the beginning that I wanted a Starmie. Alright. So, I mean, the good thing is that we're taking them out in only one hit. Which is something that I didn't expect, to be honest. I thought it was going to take at least a couple. The good thing is that they're not using any, any water types. Moves. Alright, so hopefully we can finish this quick. He did have a lot of Pokemon, but you kind of expect it, right? I mean, if he's just fishing, uh, the obvious Pokemon that he's going to end up running into would be Magic Carps, and obviously it's not a really good team until they evolve, which would be a really scary team. Um, no, I didn't want to switch, actually. And I might actually use a different move instead of using our Thunderbolt, because we're actually using uh, quite a lot of it, so... Let's actually just go with the horn attack. And I think it's gonna kill. Oh, it's not gonna kill him. Alright. And after this, I think I'm gonna end up checking his stats, guys. I really am curious now to see um, how good his special attack is. Because that's actually gonna matter. Looks like you can. Alright, so what did you say? Magikarp is not the strongest Pokemon around. But when it evolves, it can become a really strong Pokemon. Alright, so let's actually check out our milkshake all right so let's go ahead and so he has rockhead which prevents recoil damage which is going to be good using like the the move double edge or um yeah i think uh takedown that's another good move that he's gonna be we're gonna be able to teach him are we not gonna be able to see Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to see, guys. Probably they don't... Oh, yeah, it's right here. What am I doing? I wasn't looking. Um, all right, so his attack is 53, and his special attack is 26. So it's cut in half, guys, which is obviously not the greatest. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to try to teach him that many special moves because obviously it's not going to be good. And then having the ability Rockhead, uh, the good moves are going to be like Takedown and Double Edge. So we're going to for sure teach him those. Um, so right now we have Horn Attack, which is a physical move, which should do more damage than the rest. Um, Ice Beam is a special, Stomp is a physical, and Thunderbolt is a special. So, sorry guys, I kind of uh, moved the stuff right here. Alright then, so now we know what to do, but I don't know guys. I guess we should continue a little bit more, and then we'll go ahead and look for... Actually, let me get a... Uh, do we have any more? Super repel. And we should have actually plenty of them. Um, yeah, I was going to go get the star you, but I guess we could, we could continue, guys. Just get it going. And I just want to make sure that there was nothing down there. And it seems like... Can we go up? No. Alright, so it's just this area is just closed. 
So I might as well fight some of these trainers, right? That way we could level them up a little bit. The ocean is a mystical place, don't you agree? Everything could be at the bottom of the ocean. When you dive down, you'll never know what you're flying. And talking about that, guys, let's actually head down there and check it out. So, um, no, I actually want to start over here since we're at the edge. So we don't have to move back. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, there's a ship right here. So is that her clue? All right, so let's actually use, um, no. I wanted to use, ooh, yeah, our item finder. So it seems like there's something here. Yup, a star piece, guys, which means more money. Um, all right, so I don't think there's gonna be anything else, to be honest. Nope, but let's check out this boat. I don't know if there's gonna be any Pokemon spell tag. Okay, I remember this. Is that it? Rappos wore off. I don't think we're gonna encounter any Pokemon here though. Yeah. Okay, let's check and see if there's any item. Ooh, there we go. I'm glad I... Ooh, I don't know where it's gonna be at. Oh, it's gonna be probably in the corner. Ooh, a heart skill. Okay. Is there any more? No. Alright guys. Oh, that we can encounter Pokemon. A ghastly? Ah. Huh. This is bringing me back memories, guys. I wonder now. Obviously, uh, physical attacks are not gonna work against a ghastly, a ghost type. So let's actually go ahead and use Ice Beam. Hopefully it's gonna do a enough damage to actually get it pretty low oh all right guys i think i'm gonna run away after this one if we get confused if we don't attack them i'm probably just gonna run away because i don't want to get hurt yeah all right so i don't think this is gonna go good for us so that oh i can't escape either i just wasted my turn oh all right so we are gonna have to switch pokemon and I believe War Turtle Nose Bite. I can't. I can't remember to be honest. But I. I could almost say that he knows bite. Man, he doesn't know the yeah, he knows bite. All right, so that's gonna be super effective, and it's gonna end up taking him out. All right. To be honest, I didn't expect there to be any Pokemon down here, but it kind of makes sense, right? Like an old, old abandoned ship. And I want to see if we could actually come across a star you, or at least a horsey. But I think I'm leaning more towards the star you, even a cloister. But I don't know. Let's actually go ahead and. Oh no, he's gonna take us out. Ah, uh, sorry, milkshake. But at least we're gonna be able to run if we don't pick a Pokemon, so that's that's the only good thing about this. No. Oh, we can escape. Alright, so we're gonna teach it a lesson though. You, you, you knocked out our friend? Well, guess what? Now you're getting shot. I put in that tongue if I was you. There we go, guys. Alright. Um, let's actually... We could probably check to see if there's any here. So the way we could do that is just by... It's a water Pokemon, so sea Pokemon. Um, so it's going to be a star you right here. So um, so it's going to be in that specific area, which I think we are. Alright, so I think this is the area that we're at. So let's actually look in the map. So if we go into our bag and then we head over here to uh, our town map. Yeah, we're in this area, guys. So there should be a star you in this uh, general area. So I think the first one is going to be a Pikachu. So that way we could take out some of the Pokemon that are here. There's going to be another shoulder. So maybe if we take them out, they'll get scared and not show up again. Right? And be like, nope, that guy has a Pikachu. Put your uh, tongues back in your mouth. This is kind of spicy. All right, let's give it a go. And hopefully we can encounter one soon. 
Because I don't have sweet scent, I think, anymore on our vial plume. It'd be pretty funny, guys, if we come across a shiny. That'd be, that'd be a surprise, to be honest. Like I told you guys, I don't, I've never really came across any shinies other than in, um, in Pixelmon, which I think they're a little bit more common there. So there has to be some here. We're in the good area where there should be some. So I'm probably just gonna give it a go a few more times, guys. See if I encounter a uh, Pokemon uh, Star. You, I mean. So hopefully I do. And if we do, then I'll bring you guys back. If not, then I guess we we got no choice but to continue. All right, guys. So after actually spending quite a while trying to find that Star, you, um, I wasn't able to find one. I did end up getting or capturing a horsey though. So let's. Let's actually check it out. So, um, it's no swift swim, swift swim, race speed in the rain. Um, yeah, so I ended up capturing this horsey just because after out of all the Pokemon that I did battle, it was actually uh, one of the rarest one that I did encounter. Because I gotta say, maybe out of 30 or 40, maybe even 40 guys, because look, our rocket actually leveled up four or five levels due to all the battling. So yeah, it was quite a lot of Pokemon. Um, so let me get a better idea of how many I actually battled, because I ran out of uh, Thundershock, and then I went into the Thunderbolt and ran out of Thunderbolt. So look at that, guys. Thundershock and Thunderbolt. So obviously I didn't use a couple of Thundershocks beforehand, so I gotta say a total of maybe like 35 Pokemon I battled, and um, two of them were a horsey the first one they were actually really far apart so the first one uh, i encountered him like in the 15th pokemon so i ended up catching that horsey and then i kept and then i um battled another one towards the end uh, so that's kind of rare so uh, to my surprise i did encounter a dugon which is actually uh, seals evolution uh, which yeah, I was a little bit on the surprise side guys because I wasn't expecting a Dugon to be uh, In the wild usually um, you got to level up your Pokemon in order to actually uh, Encounter one or, or see one um, Another Pokemon that was really rare as well was yeah um, Not 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 horsey, but um, yeah the Dugon and then the other one that was kind of common at first it wasn't the most common obviously was the shelter uh, but afterwards uh, i did encounter uh, about like six or seven seals um so that gives you like an idea of all the pokemon that i did encounter um so i don't know if we're actually going to be able to find one guy so what i wanted to try is actually use our rod so uh we do have the good rod so we may actually capture a a oh no okay so it's gonna be a goldine another pokemon that I, I did encounter was goldines as well now that i remember um now that i'm looking at it uh so the most common was shelter then it was seal and then goldine and then you go down to um horsey and then that one dugon out of those 30 encounters so i imagine that's how it's gonna be in finding the star you so I think as we continue, hopefully we do encounter one. Um, to be honest, I don't know if we're gonna encounter one just by actually surfing. So I don't wanna use the repel right now. And let's just go like this. Uh, so hopefully we can encounter one. But the thing is that I, it's almost 100% that they're all gonna be tentacles or seals. Cause that's how it seems like it's been lately. Um, so actually I am gonna use a repel guys because it's really annoying to be honest really really annoying to To encounter all those different ones because like every every like two three steps It's almost like a guarantee that you're gonna encounter a, a Another one. Oh, there's a, a psychic uh, Pokemon uh, Trainer, do you also feel a strange kind of aura around Route J? I think he's talking about the, the underwater boat all right, Karina. So she does have a Jousey, which uh, it shouldn't be that much trouble for our milkshake because we do. I wonder if ice types are effective against psychic Pokemon. To be honest, I don't know, guys, but we'll give it a go. I, I doubt it. Yeah. All right, so I think a corn attack and stop is going to be our best bet. 
I was gonna say, I don't think Confusion does a lot of damage or it's like strong against rock types. The thing is, we do have a chance of getting confused, uh, but it seems it didn't work for Drowsy's sake this time. Ooh, there we go, another level. So that's gonna be the good thing about um, him learning uh, Thunderbolt. All right, let's see what she says. I don't see any source of a strange art around here. We're unable to see what's under the surface of the sea, though. So it just hints on going underwater. Moral Island, Golden Island. So that's the one we're going up to right now. Uh -huh. All right, so let's actually battle this little kid or girl. Don't you think Meowth is a cool Pokemon? Uh, yes, to, to an extent. Because I'm not a, really of a cat person. So, you know what I mean? Everybody has their own favorites, you know, like cats and dogs. Uh, why? So, ooh, that's gonna be super effective. No! That was enough to take us out. No shake. I'm sorry I let you down, bro. Alright, so let's go with Vile Plume since it's probably our. Oh no! I can't use Vile Plume! Oh no! Let's go with that. The thing is, it's poison, so it's not gonna do a lot of damage. Oh man, I went with probably one of the worst picks, guys. Alright, so I ain't gonna have to switch, and let's just go with Pikachu just to get him out of the way. Oh, I'm gonna have to heal Milkshake in the next island right away, because I don't want to head back. I don't know how close the next island is. There we go. But, um, yeah, because I mean, like, my neighbor has a cat, guys, and. Uh, I do encounter him every now and then, and it's pretty funny because he just stares at me. Um, and I got, I, I, I don't, like, I just, I talk to him. I'm one of those weird guys. I just say, hey, buddy, what are you doing? How's it going? And I think he knows that, uh, like, I'm not a threat. Because I remember when we ended up moving here, um, he was really scared. So he would leave right away. Like, he would, like, jump and run, you know what I mean? But now that we've been here for a while, and I do talk to him, because I encounter him maybe, like, like once a month or twice a month um, I think Meowth is a cool Pokemon but those people on Golden Island take it a uh, bridge too far oh so there's gonna be a bunch of Meowth fanatics huh okay so I think there's actually gonna be a item around here or never mind oh seems like there's a tower down here there's a couple towers oh I remember this yeah, the Golden Meowth crowd. Hell the Meowth of Bounty. Hell the Meowth of Bounty. The time has come for the Bounty Ceremony. The Meowth of Bounty will use Payday to bring a bounty of coins to our people. Meowth, use Payday? I can't even use that move. Looks like this charade is over. I need to get out of here. <laughs> it just ran out. So, yeah guys, that's Meowth, Team Rocket's Pokemon. But, um... I do remember this, which is actually pretty cool, guys. But I think we're going to end the episode here. I think it's going to be pretty cool uh, on the next, what's in stake for the next episode. Uh, but yeah, guys, so let me know in the comment section what do you prefer, dogs or cats. But I think that's going to be it, like I said, for this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll just ca catch you guys on the next one. Team Rocket Draws.